Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Technical Learning. So in this video, we will be showing you the Java programming interview question that is frequently asked in an interviews. That is to find the number is a palindrome or not. To find the given number is a palindrome number or not. So let's see the logic first. So which number is a palindrome? So let's say if I take this number 121. And if I reverse this number from right to left, then also it will come as 121. So this number is called as a palindrome number. Similarly, if you take one more number, 153, if you reverse it, it becomes 351. So this is not a palindrome number. Okay. So we'll be writing the code to find, to determine the number is a palindrome number or not. For that, what we will do is we'll use the modulus operator okay and we'll use the division operator with the help of modulus operator we'll get the remainder so let's say if you divide 121 sorry if you use modulus operator 121 by 10 so you will get a remainder as 1 okay so that's how we'll be using will be using modulus operator and division operator now let's look into this code let's say if you have integer n as 121 and you take one more integer variable which is having the same value as n you assign the value of n variable to temp variable because we would need the source the n the original number because we have to compare at the end the new number the reverse number is same as the original number or not that's why Let's assign it to the new variable for now. We'll take one more variable integer reverse and we'll take a remainder also as one of the variable. So what we will do is we'll use a for loop straightforward. For loop temp. The condition would be the for loop needs to be executed till temp is not equal to zero. Okay. Then let's take the first Thing. temp equal to modulus operator as we discussed above right three lines of code straightforward it is as simple as that nothing to worry about if you get this program in an interview make your callers up and write this program right so be full confident don't no need to um, you know turn the callers up right but this is a very simple program straightforward program and it is a cakewalk reverse equal to okay so initially we are assigning reverse as zero reverse equal to reverse into plus aria okay so this will be aria right so first let's find remainder and then reverse whatever the reverse we have reverse into 10 plus rem which is the remainder itself and then we'll do temp equal to temp by 10 itself now this is the logic now let me explain you this logic so first thing is temp is not equal to 0 so 121 is not equal to 0 so this condition is true so it will go inside so what is remainder temp modulus of 10 right so temp 121 modulus operator of 10 so remainder will be 1 so reverse you will get 0 into 10 plus 1 so the value of reverse in the first iteration will be 1. Okay. And temp is equal to temp divided by 10. So 121 is divided by 10. So you will have the new value as 12, which is the quotient you will get. So now let's do it again. Is 12 equal to 0? No, 12 is not equal to 0. So we'll go to the next loop. 12 modulus operator of 10, right? 
so you will get the value as this time as 2 okay temp modulus operator of 10 right so the new value would be So 12 modulus operator of 10. This is the second iteration that we will get. Okay. So now the value of reverse was 1. This is the new value. In the second iteration, we got 12 modulus operator of 10. So the value is remainder is 2. Okay. Now 2 into what is reverse? Reverse is 1 value. So 1 into 10 which is 10 plus remainder 2. So now reverse value becomes 12. This is the new value of reverse after the second iteration. In the first iteration, it was 1. The new uh, After the second iteration, the new value of reverse becomes 12. Now let's come to the third iteration. Okay. Now what is the value of temp? Now in the third iteration, this will be one okay so temp is not equal to zero so it will go inside okay now remainder is one modulus 10 so when it comes to one so again you will have reverse value was 12 here 12 into 10 that is 120 plus 1 itself 121 so the value of reverse becomes now 121 okay and then you don't have anything in question so it will not go inside so the reverse value will be 121 itself. Now let us write this in terms of the program, in terms in the Eclipse itself. So let me share my screen quickly. So let us create a new program, new class here. Meanwhile, if you're watching this video for the very first time, then please do hit like, share and subscribe our channel because this content is totally free of cost. You are not charged anything, right? And in detail level of explanation is given for each and everything. So let's go into the program now. Public static void main and let's keep define the variables first integer number equal to 121 we have integer reverse which is equal to 0 we have integer r so you can tell remainder rem and we'll keep integer temp which is equal to number now we'll use a while loop while temp is not equal to 0. We'll run this while loop till that extent here and let us oh, close it as well. Hmm. So we'll run the while loop. So first of all temp equal to temp percentage of modulus sorry modulus operator will use temp modulus of 10 then reverse equal to reverse sorry reverse equal to yeah reverse into ten plus remainder so we'll get a remainder from here remainder equal to temp plus temp modulus operator of ten and then we are doing temp equal to temp right by 10 okay then we'll get the reverse value now we'll keep if condition if number the original number is equal to the reverse then we need to print it's a palindrome number
Okay, so now let us run this program and see. This number is a palindrome number. Now we'll keep one more condition. If this is not a palindrome, else we'll keep system dot out dot println number is not palindrome. So let's take some different number now. Let's take one five four. I think I got some error. Maybe I have forgot to close somewhere. Seems. Not a palindrome, right? So this is uh, Java programming interview question on finding whether the number is palindrome or not, please do hit like, share and subscribe our channel because these videos are totally free of cost. You don't have to charge, you don't have to pay anything to watch, to learn these videos and practice these videos by yourself because these things will be asked to you in the interviews. So thank you so much again for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.